Welcome back everyone to uh, my videos. Hey, the latest video here is going to be the conversion of a BC459A transmitter uh, to all solid state. Now in some of my other videos you may have seen the conversion of the BC455A and also the BC348R, uh, both converted to solid state. And if you haven't seen the videos, check them out. We're doing, trying to keep with the output power that uh, was originally with these radios. Uh, it says here in the manual that the uh, peak power output of each transmitter under optimum antenna loading conditions exceeds 40 watts on CW for 28 volt DC supply. So uh, we'll try to maintain that 40 watts. Um, we'll see how it goes. I know some YouTube videos where uh, folks have converted these over to... Um, uh, DC power supplies that are almost as big or bigger than the transmitter itself. I saw one where they were happy to get 25 watts out into a dummy load. So we'll see what happens. But let's take a look to see what we need to do or what I've done so far. Take the top off. All right, here's basically what the radio looks like. Um, I've removed a few items, but uh, uh, what we're going to have to do is remove all the vacuum tubes. So let's start doing that. On the back of the tubes are going to go away. And here are the final amplifier tubes. We'll pull that those out. Pull the other one out. And then I have removed the tube sockets. I experimented already and uh, where the master oscillator circuit and vacuum tube were right here. Uh, with the tank circuit in here, I've built a MPF-102 transistorized uh, master oscillator using the Hartley design and maintaining that Hartley oscillator. Um, it worked quite well, just an experimentation. So, um, so that will drive some sort of amplifier I'm going to put right here. I'm not sure if it's going to be a tuned amplifier using the, um, circ the uh, tank circuits here. Uh, in the antenna coil or whether I'm going to put a linear amplifier here and connect it direct to the antenna. So let's take a look underneath the radio. All right, so you can see I've removed all the capacitors, the resistors, all the wiring, uh, and I have experimented here with the transistorized local oscillator, and there's the tank coil or tank capacitor for the um, master oscillator. So there's the tuning um, control for the master oscillator capacitor and um, it worked quite well. I, I got uh, enough output to drive the power amplifier. So with that, if you uh, would like to subscribe to my videos, I'll keep you posted on the project. I'm hoping it'll go well. I'm wanting to get at least 30 watts. So stay tuned. Like I say, subscribe below. Subscribe to the uh, next part videos I'll be showing you.